All right, guys. Louisiana Snake ID again on Facebook. LA Snake Boys with a Z on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Right now in frame, and by some busy road, there is a eastern copperhead, a venomous snake. You may be able to see him moving right now. I can see it on the screen moving. But check out the amazing camo of this guy, right? There's no way, unless you're looking for him, and I know he's here, obviously, that you'd be able to see him. You're not going to smell cucumbers because that's a myth that actually isn't true at all. Um, I've, none of the copperheads I've ever encountered smell like cucumbers. I have absolutely no idea how that myth got started. Um, it's a, quite a strange one. But anyway, so if you can't see it yet, let me help you out real quick. Can you see it now? Look at that. What's pretty cool about this one, sorry, I can get it a little better, is because of the low light, and the angle, if you were to look at his pupil right now, it looks like, almost like a round pupil, doesn't it? That's why the pupils are not a reliable method. Now he's turning, you can kind of see a little better. But they're not a reliable method of ID because in low light, their pupils dilate, just like our pupils do. They, they round out to capture more light. So when they do that, they don't look like the cat eye pupils. So it's just not a safe way to rely, uh, to method to rely on to identify, but also it puts you too close to them. Um, you have to get pretty dang close to see the pupils. These guys have a Hershey Kiss pattern. It's hard to see right now. Uh, I'll admit that. But um, once it comes out of there a little bit, you can see the Hershey Kiss pattern is very, very distinct. Um, this is one of the, the venomous snakes of Louisiana. They are all, all along the south and to the east. This is the eastern cop copperhead. There are northern copperheads. There's even broadbanded copperheads in Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Um, but absolutely gorgeous snakes. Some of nature's best camouflage, hands down. Look, you can see his pupil. Look how round that is. Oh, we didn't like that. My, my hook fell. Grab her. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but he's vibrating his tail. And uh, all snakes will do that. When they're scared, it's a way that them just try to warn you, leave them alone. Uh, like I tell people all the time, it's like a dog growling or showing its teeth or a, um, a cat hissing. He's just saying, look, leave me alone. Uh, Non-venomous snakes will do it. Venomous snakes will do it. This one was just doing it. Um, it's literally just hoping that I leave it alone. I'm um, obviously, I know it's here. He knows that I know him. He's here. So he's, he's kind of getting agitated. I don't blame him. It's fine. Um, just trying to get some good video to show you guys. But, again, I'll step back real quick and show you how quickly and how easily that thing gets lost. So unless you're looking for it, you're probably not going to see this guy. And I'm a few feet away from a venomous copperhead. Um, if you see these guys, send us a picture on the page. We'll help you identify it. It's Louisiana Snake ID. Our website is louisianasnakeid.com. It has all of, our so all of our social media on there. But we will not only help you identify it, if I'm close enough, I'll come get it and relocate it safely. And if I can't, I have no friends around the state that can. So there's no reason to have it killed. There's no reason to kill it yourself. You're actually way more likely to get bit trying to kill a snake than you are if you just leave it alone. So, so I always tell people, leave it alone. It doesn't want to bite you. But it will. That's his only line of defense. There's nothing else it can do. All right, guys. Check us out. Subscribe. And like our pages. Appreciate it. And we'll get, hopefully get some more valuable information for you. Some pictures to help you ID stuff. And just answer any questions you have.